With Bee and Puppycat now released on Netflix and featuring an updated plot, I'm excited to dive into the many theories that I have about what's going on in the show. The three rebooted episodes retelling the story of the original YouTube season gave us a lot of new information, but even with it, there's still a lot we don't know or understand. So keep in mind that certain complications from these theories are expected to be answered as we get more lore in Volume 2 if Netflix will be ordering it. A lot of this lore I expect to explain the nuance of all the robotic life we see in the universe. I call it robotic life because despite the robotic limitations, they do seem to be able to grow their intelligence in certain ways. The most obvious of these is of course Bee herself, created by her father. However, there appears to be a lot more robotic life in the universe, much of which is connected to Bee's father, but some of which may be much older and far-reaching than him. B as a robot does not age, something emphasized by jokes from Cass referring to B as a young old lady, with her looking just as young as when Cass and Deckard were babies. However, we do see flashbacks in episode 1 and a dream of puppy cats that reveal she was a child at some point in the show, and likely a living non-robot. In these flashbacks, Bee wasn't as supervised as she probably should have been, and after Puppycat left the island, she likely had an accident similar to the one hinted at in the show, with Baby Bee playing with a fork in an electric socket. Bee's father would then construct an adult robotic version of Bee. At least some of these pieces of Bee are capable of individual sentience as Puppycat proves, with Bee experiencing all of their conflicting thoughts and feelings simultaneously. When Puppycat asks Bee her favorite color, for instance, her answer changes depending on whatever color attracts the attention of a small piece of her returning to her dad, influencing her decisions as it passes through. The goal of all of this seems to be to try and get a robot who grows like a person inside, with the many smaller robots teaching it different things based off of their smaller individual interpretations of the larger world as viewed by Bee. Bee's father indicates that once this growing is done, he can finally take the time to get to know her a little bit. Her being not just this tiny piece of Bee, but the bigger robotic being she is becoming. The idea that she is his daughter may be something programmed in by Bee's dad, but it may also be that she retains some crucial elements of the original Bee, as other robots in the universe may as well. In this case, I think that Baby Bee was able to have her consciousness transferred or replicated through something like a brain scan, but the exact nature of Bee's death and what parts of her consciousness or even her brain were used for the robot will likely never be explained, especially as the show leans into more kid-friendly ideas as it develops on Netflix. Early on, Bee's father appeared to take care of Robot Bee, but at some point left for mysterious reasons. Among these reasons, I think, is that Robot Bee was not properly maturing the way he had hoped and that he was the reason she wasn't growing, constantly relying on him to take care of her. Without her father, Bee would continue to stagnate, however, perhaps making Bee's father question if what he was doing was what was best for Bee. It even appears that he's prepared to blow Bee up if she's not matured to a certain degree by her second birthday in the show, something put off by Puppycat at the last second. If the goal was to see growth and beyond that, a sense of happiness for Bee, then there was no reason to blow her up, as they were creating a being that was able to grow as a person and didn't have to suffer like she may have early on in her more depressed states alluded to in the show. With Puppycat seeing that, he would stop the self-destruction sequence and continue to let Robot Bee develop, Bee's father continuing to watch from somewhere out in space. These little beings all wish to become something greater than themselves, coming together to live as B, ultimately wanting to become her. When B gets broken up in the finale, some of these sentient pieces manage to lick wish crystals. They wish to become B, but each of them becomes a different colored, simple version of B, each showing about as much emotion as the robotic shell they left behind. It is uncertain what bestows sentience onto robots, but based on Robot Bee's shell being somewhat revived in the finale, I imagine that her remaining machinery had been permanently influenced by the smaller robots, gaining its own little sentience that could grow and develop as it continues to interact with the world, similar to the tiny pieces that once made it up. Perhaps this was the ultimate goal of Bee's father, with the little robots meant to leave Bee's body at some point, and her robotic shell being a fully developed version of Bee, as the little ones went on to do something else with their existence. In the original series, it seemed implied that Bee's father had actually passed away, and the music box he had left her was intended to take care of her since he no longer would be able to. Others argue that in the original Season 1, however, there was evidence that he did still exist out in space as well, and B never explicitly said that he was dead. 
Regardless, B as a robot stagnated in her emotional maturation, and with B's father absent, her being a robot was used as a sort of fantasy parallel to explain just how hard it can be to lose a loved one like a father. I remember it was these elements that first attracted me to the original YouTube series, with B struggling to move on from her dad leaving being an important element of her birthday episode. Now, in the current series, her father seemed to have left because he was holding her back, preventing her growth, but she still needs someone in her life to help her out and keep her moving forward, and I think Puppy Cat may have been sent by B's father through the temp service in order to look after her. It would appear that when Puppy Cat first babysat Bee, it was as part of a temp mission, and his coming back was the same thing, babysitting Bee again. This was something I even theorized about in the original series, with the first job the characters go on in the pilot and in the new episode 1 both being babysitting jobs. This time, however, with his memories long lost from his many years in space as a puppy cat, he would decide to take advantage of the situation and make Bee take care of him as a pet the way she describes in episode 1. In Volume 1 of the Netflix series, B has two birthdays, one during Episode 3 and another during Episode 10. Her first birthday showed her character as it had been presented up to that moment, mostly selfish but without having to worry about others too much, not where B's father wanted her in her growth. This was just shortly after first meeting Puppy Cat, however, and by Episode 10, a lot had changed. Puppy Cat is giving B a great birthday, one that might have been her last if she had self-destructed, but through the episode we see that caring for Puppy Cat and having support from him has made B the kind of person she needs to be, the kind that takes care of those who need help, such as Cardamon. The question this all poses, however, is what will happen to the robotic shell that got left behind after B was destroyed and some of her inner pieces made the wish to become simple versions of her. I imagine each of them will continue to develop independently, becoming their own version of B. I wouldn't even be surprised if one ended up with Crispin and another with Deckard. As for the robotic shell that remains of B, I believe she will become greater than the sum of her parts. The volume ended with the collective robotic bees having reached the growth to help B take care of others, and even with them all outside of her now, I think the shell will continue to grow as a person from that starting point. It is this version of B that I imagined to end up with Mooley, who himself appears to be not just a robot like B, but also an empty husk after being destroyed by the space warlock children. These are just two robots, however, and there appear to be a lot more out there than we think, and the way they all work is something I look forward to discussing in an upcoming video about B's father, and which of the characters are robots that he made. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it, let me know any theories you have on the subject down below, and if you just can't wait, consider joining us to talk about it in the Cartoon Universe Discord server. Links will be in the pinned comment down below, just make sure you ask for the Netflix role when you join to get access to Bee and Puppy Cat and other cool shows from the platform. See you guys there!